Well, welcome back to my shop today. I have this pile of uh, leftover scrap wood my dad gave me, and it's all two by stuff. Uh, there's a two by eleven in there, and uh, trying to decide what I want to do with it. I just can't toss away wood. And uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while is make a shaving horse. Also, a while back, my dad gave me this uh, draw knife that belonged to his uncle Grady Rogers, and he used that, and that he so dad gave that to me. I got a draw knife and need a shaving horse. I'm wanting to do a little more with chairs and uh, I want to try a little coopering too. I've been wanting to make a bucket. Got a bucket on my bucket list. Um, so I've got these pieces here. I've been looking at some plans and I'm just coming, going to come up with my own idea and use a few other plans I've seen out there and um, see what I can come up with. Also, I have this uh, rod here that came out of a scanner. I always tearing things apart and saving pieces that look interesting. And, and I used the other one for something else, but that's going to be my pivot rod. The bit board down here is going to be my uh, bench seat. And this is going to be my little ramp up here. Some of these other pieces are going to make legs. Uh, they're, they're pretty weathered, so what I want to do is run them through the planer and clean them up. And uh, then we'll go from there. So, get a little coffee and get started.
Well, so far so good. I've got all my wood planed down and it turned out really beautiful. I love wood that's just been weathered and aged. Uh, this piece here, uh, after I run it through the planer a few strokes there, it, uh, this, oh, that's the best pine smell I've ever smelled. It just really smells good. But I've got four legs cut. I know a lot of shaving horses have three, but I want four. That's what I'm going to do. I've got my uh, seat here ready to go. And what I'm going to do is cut a notch out in each leg and then a notch in each corner of the bench. That's how I'm going to attach them. Uh, they're just going to be straight down. I'm not going to splay them out. That may be a problem in the future, but we will find out. So that's my next goal is to do that. Also, in the middle of the bench on each side, I'm, I'm going to come in and cut a, a notch out. Uh, so when you're straddling it, place for your knees to go. A little, a little extra room there for your knees. So that's my next step. Get this bench ready to start putting together.
Well, so far so good. I'm pleased with what's going on. I've got notches and corners cut out for my legs and they will be attached like so. And I'll put two screws in there and some glue and I don't think those legs are going anywhere. Uh, got notches cut out here for my knees. Uh, did that on the bandsaw here. Uh, next what I want to do is uh, take a hand plane and do these edges here that I didn't get while ago. Uh, could run through the joiner but I'll just hit them just a few strokes with a hand plane. Uh, also have the boards here. This is going to be my top up here and, and the little bridge. It's going to go something like that. I will cut that down to about six inches. It's 11 inch wide board but I'll get about six inches out of here because I don't want it that wide and uh, same thing with the with the upright. And that's sort of how that's going to go and um, also I will have to cut the hole in, in the bench and in here for the uh, dumb head to swing through. So I'm going to do a little clean up here then put the legs on the bench. Uh, when I've got all that done I haven't decided yet I may go around the whole thing with a round over bit on the router. Uh, I may just hit it with the uh, block plane and chamfer the corners a little bit uh, just to make it smoother and don't get any splinters but so far so good. I may make a seat for it, you know, I'm just going to sit on it like it is with a cushion maybe for a while, but I may try to make a seat later. We'll see how it goes. Alright, let's do a little cleanup on this guy. I already did the other side. came out quite nicely. Uh, just a few strokes using my uh, vintage Stanley number no. 5 jack plane that Chris Schwartz tells us we need. Picked that guy up real rusty on uh, eBay for about $18. I cleaned it up, sharpened it, and I absolutely love this thing. Just a few strokes and that's all that needs.
this time put legs on my horsey. I've got uh, pilot holes and counter sinks because I'm going to plug them up. I don't want screws to show, but I'm going to use screws. Uh, I've already got my screws tapped in on, on this end here and with these two legs. And I've got them sticking out just a little bit. And I'll show you why here in just a second. two pilot holes to drill in the wood. So that's in here. It might not bust out, but I don't want to take that chance. four legs on give it a test ride and it sets level and pretty good uh, I did decide to put some braces in the ends of the legs just for a little added support uh, got them all in except for right here so I'm gonna finish this little screw job here all right now all these screw holes I've done I have countersunk them so I'm gonna plug them used a plug cutter Cut me, uh, took some of the scraps here and my little plug. So I'm going to plug all of these up, set this aside for a little bit, and let these dry. And then I'm going to start on the uh, dumb head. All right, a few more holes to fill up and this this will be ready to go. I'll flush cut these later when when the glue dries and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a little sanding. I, it's it's you know I know these are not fine furniture here, but I still don't want splinters and you know you don't want those sharp corners when you don't need them. So I'll, I'll do a little sanding on her. But so far so good. Uh, okay, I was gonna show you cut, cutting the bridge here, but I was having a hard time with my compound miter saw and I realized I couldn't cut that steep of an angle. Uh, for this angle right here. And also this one right here, I've cut these two pieces at 20 degrees. And I wound up just using a good old school protractor, marked it on there and cut it with a bandsaw, uh, standing upright, worked like a champ. Uh, I hadn't talked about measurements. Uh, the bridge pieces here are five and a half inches long. Uh, the length from here to here is 12 inches. And let's see, what did I say? Uh, the, the height of the little uh, upright here is four and a half at the high point. Uh, these, this is 11 inch wide boards for the seat, four foot long. Uh, the legs uh, come up and the whole thing says 18 inches high. And th those were just 
three inch wide legs with the little braces. Now this is the piece I'm going to use for the dumb head and I will cut a, a section out and that will go through there and then I'll determine the length and also there'll be a, a foot on the bottom and I got to drill some holes. When I attach these I will not be gluing them down in case I need to move them around later. Uh, I can, I might glue them later but for the time being I'm just going to screw them there and uh, I want to make sure everything's right before I get everything finally attached but I am pleased so far Now this is going to be my dumb head here. I took that one board, cut this shape out of it. I've cut two more pieces, go on either side, make it a big, big, thick dumb head. Also, I'm going to be cutting an angle off of it. I've drawn here. I went ahead and drew my line so I could see where to not put screws at. And I'm uh, fixing to drill some pilot holes and we'll screw and glue this guy together. Then I will trim the whole thing off one time on the bandsaw. Now for some countersinks. Get my screw started in. I'm going to finish this dumb head today and I'm going to call it quits. It's getting kind of late and I'm getting kind of tired. It's getting kind of hot.
Well, I think that's about enough for today. You can see me sitting here trying it out. It's very sturdy. Just the right height for my legs, I believe. And I think that's going to work good when I start mashing the pedals. Um, i going to have a little drink here. It's hot. Oh, yeah. Got to stay hydrated. All right, I've got my, my bridge set up here. And I've just finished my, my dumb head. And I believe it's going to be about the right size there. As you can see, that turned out pretty good. Uh, next time when I come back, I'm going to do some cleanup and knock all these uh, uh, plugs off to where I've filled in my screw holes. Um, I, th I think I'm going to go around the edges with the router. I think I just feel better because some of these little edges are a little sharp. And, uh, I could knock it down with a little sandpaper. I think a round over bit on a router would be fine. Um, I've got to drill uh, some holes here in the middle and add the foot to the bottom. All parts are cut and ready to go except for the foot. Uh, I haven't said if I want to use a dowel yet or, or just a square step, but I'll, I'll think about that come next time. Uh, that's all i got to do here is add, add the holes in the foot. Uh, the bridge, I'm going to put a couple of screws in there and a couple here. I will not uh, glue them or plug them up because I'm this will have to be replaced eventually one day. Uh, I will have to cut a slot in here for the dumb head to go through and also a slot in the bench. And then uh, also drill holes through here uh, to, to handle the pivot. So I think uh, that's about a five hour day here and I've got this much done. So I don't have a problem getting done next time. I think my height is going to be just right for uh, shaving right here and I may even just leave this this support here where I can move it and then change the angle a bit but so far I'm very happy with what's going what's happening here I can't wait to give this guy a try I'll have to give it a good sharpening uh, still pretty sharp after many years but I'm looking forward to doing a little shaving on the shaving horse see you next time